Hello ladies and germs, it's Kai Kai Jelly. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. In the last episode we started level three, uh, which is Witchy World, and uh, now we're gonna continue Witchy World. And uh looks like we got ourselves a uh little french fries drive through thingy. I think this is my favorite of the two conversations with the uh with the little food vendors in this world. <laughs> oh, Kazooie, you always crack me up. <laughs> oh, Kazooie. Oh, fuck you, stupid cast register. So, this always confused me as a kid. I never figured out how to do this. And it's just so weird. So, basically, it's um, that carnival game with the hammer. You're supposed to hit um, a switch with the hammer as hard as you can, and you're supposed to get the highest uh, score. So what we have to do... Uh, oh, there we go. And so for the third one, you have to hit it with a grenade egg. I never figured that out as a kid. But that's all you have to do. He's a jiggy ma jig. Yes, I hear you, Jinjo. I see you over there. Alright. Over here we got a uh, humble wumba. I wonder what she's gonna turn us into in this level. And we haven't seen Mumbo yet either. So I wonder what what's up with that. Break this open. Nothing we can do in there yet. Oh, oh, okay, that works. But I still want to open this and get the honeycomb. Now, if you remember in Banjo Kazooie, um, there were the Jinjos, but this game has fake Jinjos. See if you try, he'll attack you. And I think this is cool because, um, in the beginning cutscenes, if you remember, they made, uh, King Jingling evil. So I guess that transferred over to the Jingos. They can be hard to hit because they're super fast. 
Oh, hello. Sure, I'll give you some fries. Little, uh, bribery going on. Although I don't blame you. Anybody bribes me with food, they've, uh, completed their mission. So we got one more kid to find. And, uh, yeah. Basically, I want to come up here. Kill this asshole. Now I got another stupid... take us to, um, over to Space Zone, but, like, we're up in the higher area. back to Glitter Gulch Mine, where the flying saucer was. There he is. And we can't, um, that, if you jump in him, he'll take you to a mini game, but we can't do that yet. What is there left to do now? Oh, 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 real, real nice. Hey, your buddy up there is a dick. You know what? We haven't been in here yet. Very dark in here. I saw you coming. Hmm, well, I guess there's nothing to do in here, really. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Well, let's go see what, uh, Mamba, or what Wamba is gonna turn us into. I haven't seen Mamba yet, which is weird. Well, let's go see Wamba. That's a Mumbo pad. Where's the, uh... Oh, there it is. I thought that was a Mumbo pad. Let's go see Wamba. See, this is what I mean by lazy game design. You put the Globo in the fucking tent. Like, that's so stupid. They did it with Mumbo in the first level. There's this giant ass level you can hide these in. Wait, uh, that's one thing I don't like about this game. Is Globos are way too easy to find. And this is my favorite transformation. You're basically this money truck. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, you got a, uh, a horn. Well, let me get out of here first. So basically, you have a horn. You can jump if you want. But the coolest thing is you have no health. And uh, you can basically just run people over, which is why I love this transformation. And every time I play this, uh, it reminds me of Grand Theft Auto because you just like run everybody over. Now we can kill all the damn cast registers. Damn, motherfucker. So like, this just reminds me of Grand Theft Auto. Fucking run people over and shit. It's pretty great. Got another King Joe. Five out of eight pink ones. This is so cool. I love this. You got a drive through in this establishment? Oh! Oh, so it's like that! So no, they don't have a drive through mm. I think I got all the tickets. Talk to Jam Jars, he's like, uh, what the fuck, bro? Ah, here we go. Alright. Got all the notes in this world. And, uh, we can open this finally.
So it's just a little lava area. Good, good, good. Stranger danger is bad. Very, very bad. Okay, and the Globo should be in here. Yep. So this is all we can do uh, with the truck for now. So Go back to Wombo. Mumbo turns on all the rides in this level. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay. That's the coolest Mumbo skull I've ever seen. got all the honeycombs. We still need a whole bunch of jiggies. And we're missing a Cheeto cage. So, with Mumbo in this level, what you do is you go up to all the generators, and they power all the rides, and then all the rides are like basically uh, little mini games if that you are not Jiggies for. Saucer ride. That's powered on now. Don't fuck with me, buddy.
base on has two generators. Save states just in case if the emulator crashes. So I don't have to redo anything. last kid. <laughs> sure, I'll give you some food. Even though you don't need any. Basically, he's stuck here because he's so fat. We can't uh, do anything with him yet. Oh shit. Oh, okay. I thought I fell in the lava. Now, that little uh, ride in space zone uh, that we opened up, we actually have to use the truck one more time to actually open it. So let's do that real quick. I 
I love this transformation. <laughs> and it has a backpack on top and banjo shorts for the, uh, what'd you call that? The, uh, I guess the design. I don't know anything about cars, but I think there's an actual terminology for it. Let's go to Space Zone. Well, folks, I think this is a good place to end off. I know it's a little bit short, but um, I think I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you would like, share this with your family, your friends, your foes, and your hoes. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.